we now are full staff. Uh, as you noticed in the budget last year, we didn't ask for any additional deputies because several board members says, why are you asking for deputies when you can't even fill the ones you got, which make total sense to me. Uh, but in years past, we've always asked for two investigators and two deputies. But I wanna take small steps and that's why I'm gonna ask for two deputies. I don't know that I can fill those two deputies positions, but I'm gonna try. Currently right now, I don't know of any other department that's full staff. And there's some reasons why we are full staff. And that's because of you guys and what you've done. Uh, your commitment to public safety has made a tremendous difference for the Carolina Sheriff's Office. I've written down some things that y'all have done like the public safety pay plan. Uh, that has made us competitive with other surrounding jurisdictions. Uh, the 1.85 multiplier, the body cameras, one of the deputies came up today to Mr. Thomas and thanked him for the body cameras because they really wanted those and they, they're excited about having those body cameras. So, but the most important thing that happened, which I didn't foresee happening, was when we had the county picnic and we invited all the board members. Mr. Forehand, Mr. Seeley, and Mr. Thomas came to the county picnic and mingled with the deputies. That was the single most important impact for morale for my department that we ever had. And I didn't see that coming, but for you guys to come out and spend the time with them in a picnic made all the difference in the world. And when you, and Mrs. Long, she was out of town, Mr. Underwood was out of town, Mr. Black was out of town. And I told them that, that you would have been there if you wouldn't have been out of town. But I had no idea it was gonna make the impact that it did. So I say that, not only is this a great place to work for the citizens of Caroline, as I say that is because those guys that work the road and <clears throat> they know other deputies and other agencies, I've been pulling from Spotsylvania, I've been pulling from Hanover, you know, we've never done that in the past, but really the most compelling element to that is the deputies themselves. They're talking to guys that they graduated with at, at different academies and saying, hey, you need to come to Caroline. So I can advertise, put stuff on billboards like Loftus does. I said, <laughs> but ultimately your people are your best recruits. And we're getting that now because of what you have done and your commitment to public safety. So <clears throat> I wanted to mention that because I think that's important to realize how we got where we are. Because like I said, I don't know of any other agency in the region that's even full staff or even close to being full staff. I went to see Hanover and they were 25 people down. So it's really um, a thanks to what you guys have done, the teamwork that we've done. Sure, if I, if, if I could ask one question, if you hire someone today, how long does it take for them to go through all the training mm -hmm. before they're actually a certified road deputy? Modestly, it's about a year. You know, it's, it's about a year to fully train a deputy. You know, I may lose somebody tomorrow, but with those two positions, I can keep the staff that I currently have. The call volume's gone up to 16 more calls a day uh, this year than it was the year before. So the calls are there, the demand's there, the population's increasing. So it's gonna take me a year to train these two people, unless I'm fortunate enough to draw somebody from another jurisdiction, right. jurisdiction that's already certified. Okay. But these, these positions and these monies that you're looking at, I wouldn't hire until October. I think the, the money's in there where it takes me a certain process that I got to go through background investigation, polygraphs, you know, all the typical stuff you have to do. So these monies wouldn't come in effect for the, for the new two deputy positions until October. So I'm hoping that I can move forward with that. Um, any other questions? I'm sorry. Uh, let's see if the board has questions. Mr. Yes, Forehand? Ms. Blue. I, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but no, I'm, go kind of, ahead. I'm kind of on the spot myself. <laughs> no. Why now and not three months ago? Well, the reason is because when I talked to several board members, they said, why do you keep asking for deputies positions when you can't even fill the ones you got? And I totally agree with that. Uh, we were 14 deputies down at one time, 14. Okay. That's huge. I mean, it was a great impact on call, call mm -hmm. response and everything else. So I didn't put it in the budget this year. I, I understand that reasoning. Hey, if you can't fill them, why are you going to give you more positions that you're still not going to fill? Sure. So I didn't put them in the budget this year. And that's just where I went. You know, no, like, I totally like agree. Our, our budget just started 
30 days ago. Yeah. And I, like, wow. And I just started you know, this position so. eight months ago, and I okay. didn't have any idea that I would fill those six positions that were vacant when I took as only okay. sheriff in, in eight months. Fair, fair enough. Yep. And the, and the other real, you know, big point is if you hire somebody today, it's a year before we get them on the road certified. And if somebody quits and you can't find somebody from another locality, right. we'll, we'll be down for a year. So right. to me, it's one of the one departments or, or positions, one of a few that we need to overhire for. So it, Yeah, that is a very good way to put it, kind of overhire. Right now, we can maintain with what we have. Uh, but right now, I have five people in the academy. I mean, so I'm still a little bit short, but those those people in the academy forum are coming out the end of August, and that's going to really backfill a lot of things. So we're experiencing a little so bit of shortage right now. Yeah, we're short now. But it won't be yeah. long. It's like less than 30 days before they'll be out of the academy and 